The following video illustrates an electrical shock incident that occurred at the Arecibo Water Treatment Facility. Two associates were completing a scheduled electrical shutdown at the Raw Water Reservoir building in conjunction with a confined space entry at the water plant. The purpose for the shutdown was to stop the water flow into the water plant while contractors were completing a task to verify that a 36-inch valve was functioning properly. To begin water flow back to the plant, the restart up of pumps 2, 3, and 4 were completed without any complications. When pump number 5 was switched to the run mode, smoke began to be noticeable from the lower panel, and it was presumed that a fuse had failed. The electrician began the process to reset the pump by initiating a lockout. Upon inspection, it was identified that a coil near the base appeared burnt. He replaced the coil, reconnected the wires, and reset the pump. Again it failed, and again it smelled of something burning. He turned his attention to the upper cabinet where the blades were. The central blade appeared to have black residue, so he decided to clean it with a rag and contact cleaner. Without gloves, he reached in to clean the blades and bus. That is when he received an electrical shock to his right hand. This incident occurred due to contributing factors, but not limited to fatigue from working approximately 12 hours through a scheduled shutdown, unscheduled electrical occurrence and not pre-planning scope of work, failure to implement lockout tag procedures properly, failure to wear appropriate NFPA 70E safety PPE, and failure to verify completed de-energized system into panel where work was taking place. Corrective actions will include implementation of NFPA 70E training immediately, verify all electricians are qualified, develop the appropriate SOP slash JHA for every task involving electrical work, purchase the proper tools for energized work, and implement and verify a complete LOTO program is in place.